More than $2 million in grant funding could be awarded to the city of Lompoc to improve pedestrian safety. KSBY's Jacob Dizon spoke with city officials and one concerned parent to learn more about the situation. Here at Hapgood Elementary, there are no defined crosswalks or stop signs to ensure the safety of families walking to and from school every day. Lompoc City officials tell me the $2.8 million in grant funding they're expected to receive would address the issue while also helping ease the worries of concerned parents in the area. I'm very worried when I'm walking through these streets. The cars that are driving do not respect the passing pedestrians. To address these worries, the city's engineering division partnered with the Lompoc Unified School District and other local organizations to apply for a grant from the California Transportation Commission's Active Transportation Program. We're going to look at making the city safer than it already is for pedestrians, especially around schools and um, important areas in town like the Lompoc Aquatic Center, the YMCA, um, places that, that kids spend a lot of time as well as other pedestrians. City Public Information Officer Samantha Scroggin tells me the incoming grant funds would be used to infill missing sidewalks, add flashing beacons like the ones recently added along Ocean Avenue, and establish resources for community outreach and education. There have been some pedestrian incidents especially around the schools so we really it is important to improve that and we really hope this grant will be critical in in doing that. Lompoc mother Maria Magana tells me she was present for the most recent pedestrian accident that took place at Hapgood Elementary where she saw an elderly woman hit by a car last Thursday as she was accompanying her daughters to school. It happened close to me. Ambulances and police started to arrive and well the person was hit. It was very sad. Samantha Scroggin tells me it could be a few years before all the new safety enhancements are in place, but that we can expect the initial steps of the city's walkability, community safety and school investments project to take shape in the coming months. We look forward to maybe this next year, seeing some of the grant actually going in with, with some um, systems in place, working with the school district to form um, a, a safe routes to school program. Along with Hapgood Elementary, the city says pedestrian enhancements can also be expected in the areas surrounding Lompoc Middle and High Schools and Clarence Ruth Elementary. In Lompoc, Jacob Dizon, KSBY News. Lompoc City officials say their application for the California Transportation Commission grant ranked 7th among 544 other applicants.